the mighty Midway puts to sea on maneuvers in the Caribbean. Untried equipment to be tested, new men to be trained, and watchful eyes to note their progress. As the nautical miles fall swiftly astern, below decks, careful checks are being made of the flat tops brood. These receive the best of care, for each carries valuable cargo, a naval aviator. From the hangar deck, swift elevators bring the plane's topside. Nicknamed the Bearcat, this fighter is designated by the Navy, the F-8F. Once on the flight deck, each plane is speedily prepared for flight. The finishing touch, devastating rockets, part of the offensive strength of the fighters. And powerful bombs complete the destructive load of striking power. And now to check off items of personal equipment. The familiar oxygen mask. The flotation vest, or May West as it's better known. Attached to the May West are many useful objects to ensure protection under practically all conditions. Now to the briefing room where our fledgling pilots receive final instruction. Their mission is explained by a keen-eyed intelligence officer. Maps and information on their target are given out, watches synchronized, and complete understanding arrived at before the men move off to their planes. And then for a flyer new to carrier operations, the crucial moment as he awaits his turn at the catapult that will send him hurtling forward in flight. Now the months of instruction will bear fruit. These well-trained men sit waiting and then full throttle and they're off. In perfect form they go until all are airborne. They'll be flying from the decks of carriers for the rest of their professional lives. But this is the thrilling moment, their first operational takeoff somewhere at sea. The precision with which each pilot handles his plane is carefully noted by observers stationed at vantage points through the ship. Now the heavier craft, bombers, move forward under their own takeoff power. Another proud moment for a naval aviator, in formation, flying above his first flat top with thousands of eyes critically upon him. It's time to put other skills to the test. They have a date with a target, so they're off about their business. What's this? Why, our cameraman himself. A simulated attack by enemy aircraft on the Midway. All hands man their battle stations. And there go the guns, the 40s, the 20s, and the heavier action of the five inch, with sailors going all out to defend the ship. This is a drone, radio control. Observers keep an eye on the effectiveness of gun handling and marksmanship. Meanwhile, the formations have reached their destination and peeling off, they begin their bombing runs. A miss. Here comes the next one. That was better. On they come, barreling in. Good job. This slim greyhound of the sea is a destroyer assigned to carrier escort duty. Useful friend to ship and pilot alike. And here the carrier returns the compliment. A refueling operation being carried out with both ships maintaining course and speed. In a moment, the Midway will begin gathering her birds home to roost. This is the landing signal officer who talks to flyers with his paddles. And the pilot drops wheels, tail hook, straightens. The final signal, cut engine. And the plane drops neatly to the broad surface of the Midway. The tail hook grabs securely, and the plane is brought to a halt in a matter of feet by the arresting lines. Deck crew forward to release the hook, and the aviator revs his engine and moves forward to make room for the next plane. Trouble on the wing, this plane's engine is on fire, and the pilot almost smoked out. He gets his signals and with determination brings the ship in. Emergency crews to the rescue and prompt action puts out the fire. Meanwhile, the next plane is waved off, banks neatly, tucks up his wheels, and starts around again. Down goes the injured plane to the hangar deck. Emergency crews start repairing damages, even while the smoke is clearing. Topside again. Look out, she's crashing over the side. Now watch that survival gear work. There he is, life jacket inflated, 
sitting cozy on a rubber boat. Here's that indispensable friend, being indispensable, picking up a waterlogged airman. The breeches boy serves its age-old purpose. Here in the old-fashioned way, the survivor is passed back to the mothership. An interesting sight to these boys from Kansas and Missouri. Now his round trip is completed, they'll send him right back up. Many thanks, indispensable friend. Well done. A temporary halt to maneuvers. It's holiday time. From the bow, the anchor chain is paid out. Tons of chain to hold that big hook. And there, the hook is down, the engine silent. The mighty Midway lies at anchor off Port-au-Prince, Haiti. Shore leave coming up, hair combed, cap set at a jaunty angle. These fun-loving sailors take a holiday from the grind of duty. Off they go with cameras and golf clubs, and a salute to the quarterdeck. Down the gangway and into the boats they go. The landing craft are loaded with anticipations, as some of these men make their first liberty port are the stories that will be told and retold of this happy day when back aboard ship. Up you go, mate, over the side, time's a-wasting. The old hands lead the way. Porto Prince, here we come. Sailors on shore leave with their pay burning holes in their pockets. And now the bartering begins, buying souvenirs to send back home to Indiana and Alabama. How much? It's a deal, sold. Tropical baskets, carved coconuts, dolls, and all the other standard tourist attractions are bought. The short holiday over, the midway is again at sea. The briefing room again, but now a new set of tactics to be applied to the revolutionary carrier jets before they are launched. The pilots listen intently, then don their football-style crash helmets. They fit snugly and give maximum protection. The instructor puts on his own headpiece, and that's the signal to go topside. This is one of the Navy's new carrier jet jobs and capable of magnificent performance. This one is being placed in position for takeoff. There it goes. A very heavy craft. It takes off with tremendous forward power. And here goes a sister ship launched with the assistance of the mighty catapult. A powerful succession of thundering jets are being sent aloft. The wheels the efficient crews are setting in motion typify, as does the dauntless, sturdy young pilot, the strength of purpose which lies behind such accomplishments as these made on the flat-top midway. For it is the belief of many that in developing these highly technical skills and improving on plane and pilot performance, we're paving the way to a world free from the fear of war. The strength of America is being shown you here. A strong America is the world's insurance policy for peace.